very famous Indo Chinese recipe. It's a great appetizer and a fantastic party pleaser. Now, this is very similar to Gobi Manchurian, except that it's a little more on the spicier side and it's a great snack for all these spice lovers. So, let's get started and check out the recipe. Cut the cauliflower into small florets. Heat a pot of water. Once it comes to a boil, add the cauliflower into the hot water. Cook it for 2 minutes in hot water. Strain it and keep it aside. Transfer the blanched cauliflower to a bowl. Season it with salt, half teaspoon. Chilli powder, half teaspoon. Just toss it. Add 3 teaspoons of all-purpose flour or maida. Add 3 teaspoons of corn flour. Just toss it. Make sure the cauliflowerets are coated with the flour mixture. Now let this sit for about 10 minutes. Then we are going to fry the cauliflowerets. Deep fry the cauliflowerets in batches till they are a nice golden brown colour. Make sure you keep the flame on medium throughout the process. Take a walk, add 2 teaspoons of sesame oil. Next add 1 teaspoon of finely chopped ginger, 1 teaspoon of finely chopped garlic, Two large green chilies finely chopped. Next, add onion wedges, capsicum cut into large pieces. Saute the vegetables for about five minutes on medium flame. Add one teaspoon of vinegar. Add two teaspoons of light soy sauce. Three teaspoons of red chilli sauce. Add three teaspoons of green chilli sauce. 2 teaspoons of tomato ketchup. Mix everything together. Finally, to kick up the spice, I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of Szechuan sauce. I've dissolved 1 teaspoon of corn flour with a little water. I'm going to pour this. Just going to add a little water to get the sauce going. Add quarter teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of sugar just to balance the flavors. So I have a very spicy sauce here. Check for seasoning before adding the fried cauliflowerets. Once you've got the sauce ready, finally add the fried cauliflowerets into the sauce. So make sure the sauce is not too runny. It should just be right, just enough to coat the cauliflowerets. You can see the sauce has coated the cauliflowerets beautifully. Now turn off the stove. Finally, garnish it with some spring onion greens. Give it a quick mix and serve it immediately. It's best served when it's hot. So here is this absolutely delicious and spicy chilli gobi. I'm sure you can't wait to actually try this recipe. So go ahead, buy your gobies that is the cauliflower and get going and try the recipe. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 Print.